I chose to create the Snowlandia iguana because of the marine iguana's incredible ability to dive 40 meters underwater. Because the marine iguana possesses such an interesting ability, I wanted to adapt the marine iguana to live in a habitat even more physically demanding than the Galapagos. So I created an aquatic arctic iguana. Snellandia is actually Latin for arctic. So yeah, that's why I created it. Okay guys, so the classification for the Snellandia iguana is going to be right here. Okay, so basically the Snellandia iguana's common name is obviously the Snellandia iguana, but the scientific name is Amblyrhynchus adipem comendenti. This adipem comendenti is actually Latin for fat eater. I created that by using Google Translate, good source. Okay guys, to get really specific in the classification, because I know you're all a smart audience, I just want to go through the kingdom, the phylum, the genus, and the species, well, and other things. Okay guys, so the kingdom of the Snowlandia iguana is, the, is Animalia, uh, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. The phylum is Chordata, the class is Sauropsida, I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right. Uh, the order is Squamata, the family is Iguanidae, and then the genus is Amblyrhynchus, and then the species is Adipem comandanti. So there's the further detailed classification. <laughs> We're all, uh. Right, so it appears I'm in the middle of the Arctic, and it appears I packed a bit too tropical. Uh, right, so I just got settled up. And yeah, I mean, oh, it appears there's been a mega blizzard. Raw, <laughs> crikey! No, God help me, have mercy, raw, raw. Look at that! It appears it's a Snellandia iguana. Right, so you do not see this beast every day. It's a nasty Snellandia iguana. He's very quiet, and boy, oh boy, he does not want to be disturbed. Okay. I'm getting a little bit carried away. Right, okay, so this guy is literally ready to take a gut-wrenching dive for food. They consume any remains of seal and they hunt small fish. As you can see right here, these nasty claws are for ripping its prey open. Raw, oh, look at that, he's going, oh, he just took a nasty dive, crikey, oh. Right, so he takes this nasty dive, and only the biggest and toughest males are going to take the dive. It's a nasty cold dive down there, you do not want to know. Uh, he goes down there to get his food, boy oh boy, he's going to hog up a lot. Once he gets the food, he's going to bring it up like prey, like a rat up a drain pipe. Oh, sorry, sorry. And he's going to call his friends with the noise that sounds like... Bear. Oh, okay. oh right. Oh, okay, so for this, Melandia iguana lowers its heart rate by 90% to regulate its blood flow underwater. Without that, he's gonna get a nasty coldness. It also helps with this big fat belly. He has plowed down 50 billion burgers, well, steel burgers, I guess, and all these fish to get that big fat blubber covering to protect him from the cold. If he doesn't find any food down there, if he doesn't kill any fish down there, he's going to go through scavenging for seal remains slaughtered raw by polar bear. So, like I said before, he's got this. <laughs> Those nasty sharp claws. You do not want to get near those. He uses those to butcher, butcher his prey apart. <laughs> Sorry, uh, butcher his prey apart. Without those, he wouldn't be able to grip to the ice and stay on the shore. Ah, uh, yeah. 
And that would be a bad life for him. <laughs> Ra, he did it, Ra! Look at that, he's got a nasty, um, salmon. I mean, uh, great tuna, great squid, there we go. He's eating it, yeah. Uh, it's actually, wait, is it a seal? Uh, so yeah, uh, wait, wait. <laughs> Right, he just called his squad. It appears they're gonna eat it. Oh my god, they're attacking.